Hey guys, it's Melissa, and today we are taking a sheet pan and making a healthy and delicious lemon chicken and asparagus dinner that you won't want to miss, and it only takes 30 minutes. So if you're ready, meet me in the kitchen. All right, guys, let's not create too many dirty dishes, but let's create a chicken dinner that you are going to add to your dinner rotation because it is so easy to make and it is seriously that good. And let's start by preheating our oven to 425 degrees. We are trying to keep our dishes limited, so we are going to get out our rimmed baking sheet and we are gonna cover it with foil. You can also put parchment paper down and on top of that foil, I'm gonna spray it with just a little bit of cooking spray to make sure that nothing sticks. And now let's create our spice blend that is going to go on top of our chicken. We are using two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of dried oregano, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of sea salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. Mix all of those spices together in a bowl. And that is seriously probably the hardest part of this meal. I am taking four chicken breasts that I have previously pounded out to make sure that they are all the same thickness, that they cook evenly, and that they are also very tender. You can also use bone-in or boneless chicken thighs here. Just make sure that you're going to have to cook them for a little bit longer. But chicken thighs work great because they are really hard to overcook because they have a little bit more fat in them. And by a little bit, I'd say about five extra minutes. I'm taking my chicken breasts and placing them right on my sheet pan. I'm going to drizzle them with two tablespoons of olive oil and then that spice blend that we previously made. I like to get my hands dirty, mix it all up so everything is evenly coated with both the spices and the olive oil. And then we are moving on to our asparagus. I have a little over a pound of asparagus here that I have previously trimmed and I am adding it right to our baking sheet, putting it alongside all of our chicken. Chicken and asparagus work great together here because they cook for relatively the same amount of time, so you can put them all in the oven together on the sheet pan, and again, the sheet pan is all about making our life easy, so put these two together. <laughs> you can, if you would like to bump up this meal a little bit, add some roasted potatoes or roasted sweet potatoes. You're just going to have to put them in the oven for about five to 10 minutes before you put in the chicken and the asparagus. Now that everything is on our sheet pan, we are just going to season this up a bit more. I am squeezing the juice of an entire lemon across the asparagus and the chicken. And then I am sprinkling about a third to a half a cup of Parmesan cheese on top of all of it. Lastly, drizzle about two tablespoons of olive oil on top of the Parmesan cheese. This is going to help crisp it up and it just gives it that nice rich flavor that we're looking for and it helps keep our chicken breasts moist. And remember that that olive oil is heart healthy and if this is serving four people, you're having about a tablespoon in your entire meal. That is it, we are taking our sheet pan, we are putting it in our 425 degree oven for anywhere between 20 and 25 minutes. Make sure you check it after 20 because again, you don't wanna overcook your chicken breast, but everybody's oven heats up a little bit differently and cooks a little bit differently. When the chicken is done, I like to let it sit on the sheet pan for just a couple minutes, sprinkle it with some parsley, and then serve it with lemon slices to squeeze on top. And besides this dinner being delicious and really good for you, the cleanup is a breeze. If you are looking for more easy, healthy chicken ideas, I'm going to put a link to my chicken avocado salad down in the description box down below. And if you are new here, I would love it if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification as I post short and effective workouts on Mondays and Fridays and healthy, family-friendly cooking videos on Wednesdays. And I can't wait to see you on Friday for a workout. Bye.